What's up guys, it's Shanice, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. So today I'm going to show you guys 7 beauty hacks that I actually use like personally. I'm always doing these hacks and I'm pretty sure you guys already know these hacks and you probably already do some but I feel like every girl needs to know these hacks because they're legit. So let's just hop right into the video. So first up is definitely having a travel size perfume. This one is from Scentbird. They are a monthly subscription service where you can get any perfume for $14.95 a month. You can also cancel at any time as well. So that's pretty cool. And what I love about this is the size of it. It is not too big, not too small, and it's travel friendly. And I'm always on the go traveling. So this can easily fit in my purse or my carry-on. And you just twist it up. And then you can spray it all over yourself and to take it out is super easy you just twist it and then it comes out and this is the size of the perfume which I think is a pretty good size so you can actually test out your perfumes like date your perfumes before you actually marry it as in buy which is what I'm about because I'm not really to spend my coins on perfumes because it can be pretty expensive so this is the Saint Laurent um, black opium perfume which smells so freaking bomb so grown and sexy smell so you just put it inside and you twist it down and you're good to go it's as simple as that so if you guys are interested in this they have over 450 different scents on their websites also for the month of October they are giving back to breast cancer research so they're giving 10% of their proceeds of the pink case to breast cancer research and I will have a coupon code so you can save some coins down below so yeah, all I'm saying is that as a girl, you should definitely carry around some perfume or something like that. A mini one like this, store it in your purse so you can just spray yourself any time of the day, wherever you are, and just smell bomb. So hack number two is for your edges, and it's to keep it laid without having the greasy or the build-up look on it, which I know a lot of people struggle with because they're either using like a pomade or they're using like a gel. The gel can make it very crunchy, and the pomade stuff can make it very greasy looking. So what I've been doing is kind of training my edges. So every night before I go to sleep, I will pretty much like brush my hair down with my fingers, and then I would apply some conditioner, and conditioner does not dry it out it doesn't leave like a build-up look on it and yeah it's just bomb so i just been putting a little bit of conditioner on my um, edges every night and just laying it down putting a scarf over it and in the morning when i wake up my edges are laid so if you want to kind of train your edges to lay down on its own on a daily definitely try this it works so hack number three is for all my girls with small boobs like myself, I'm in the itty bitty titty committee, that's for sure. So what I like to use is the new bra. This is basically like a sticky bra. Um, it's strapless, backless, all of that stuff. And basically you can just kind of bring your boobs together so it kind of looks like you have some cleavage. And I know most of the time like I really don't like wearing bras, but sometimes you just have to because it's not cute going around showing your nipples to everybody. No. Um, yeah, when I have to wear a bra, I be wearing this. Um, especially when I go out and stuff and I want to you know give myself some like oomph so you get two cups like this you want to make sure that before you put it on you're not oily there's no grease or sweat down there or else you'll have a hard time sticking and I'm just gonna clip them together but this is how it look without a bra and a non sticky bra as you can see there's no cleavage really and nothing really going on and this is how I look with it on as you can see there is a slight difference and there is more cleavage so pretty much you just stick this all the way from your left or right side and then you stretch the other one to the left or right side and it just creates like a tightening effect and yeah that's how you get the cleavage so hack number four is to wear a waist trainer before you have an event or if you just want your belly to look flatter and I'm not a waist trainer at all, like I will just wear my waist trainer here and there if I have like an event to go to or if I'm on vacation and I want my, I want to have a bikini body. So pretty much I'll wear my waist trainer the night before I wear it to sleep. I don't put it on super tight or anything, I just make sure that like it's kind of firm. When I wake up the next day, my belly is super flat, it doesn't feel as bloated. 
um, I have a little more curve to me so yeah especially when I'm traveling I do this every night because you want to wake up and you want to have that bikini body you want to look snatched so when you're on vacation you're drinking a lot you're eating a lot so that's like a lot of calories and everything so you're super bloated so when I put that bad boy on the next day my stomach is looking pretty good so um, yeah I use the hack all the time so does my sister so it works so tip number five is to get thicker bottom lashes and I've seen this tip from makeup Shayla and I just started using it like crazy because I love the look of having full bottom lashes so pretty much you just need your favorite mascara and your favorite eyeliner but you just want to make little dots on your lower lash line on each side and once you did that, you just want to take your favorite mascara, put that bad boy on a couple coats, one coat, however much you want. And as you can see, the lash line turns really super thick after you do that. So when you compare my eyes, you can see the difference. And I just love how it looks. You guys let me know what you guys think. So hack number six is for all my hairy girls. This is a hairy girl hack. And it's pretty much waxing versus shaving. And for me, shaving is a no-go. I used to shave all the time. My hair grew back in days. Actually, not even days. It grew back in hours, hours. Like, that's how crazy it was. I used to shave my legs, my armpits, my down there, and literally it grew back in hours. And I was just so upset because I would just start feeling like prickly and all that stuff. So if you are a hairy girl, I definitely recommend waxing. Now when I wax, it lasts for weeks, especially my armpits. Woo. So yeah, if you are a hair girl, I do recommend waxing. It will last a long time and your hairs will grow back a lot thinner. So when they do grow back, you won't be able to see it as much. So, yeah. And if you do wax or you do shave, you want to make sure that you're exfoliating. This is my exfoliating brush that I always use because I am prone to ingrown hairs. So exfoliating really helps prevent that. So make sure you get yourself an exfoliating brush this one is from vanity planet i do have a coupon code for 70 percent off if you're interested it will be down in the description box <laughs> so number seven is for when you're having a bad hair day and i have a lot of bad hair days trust me trust me guys so what i do is just throw on a half wig and a hat and i know a lot of you guys are like complaining about my half wig but i'm in a cure and then I just throw on one of my cool hats, this is the Nike hats, and I just think you look so much more put together. It looks like you have some type of effort going on, but on the real side, if you flipped off this hat, your life will be over. <laughs> so pretty much I would just put my hair into two braids, and then I would plop on the wig, plop on my hat, and then I'm good to go. You know, looking kind of sporty, kind of chic, and then I'm out the door. So last but not least, hack number eight, removing your makeup with oil. I'm pretty sure all of you guys use this, or most of you guys. It's super affordable, it's super cheap, and it's easy to do. I like to use almond oil just because I know almond oil is really good for the skin. So I just put a bunch of that in my hand. You don't even need a bunch, you just need like a little bit, like a quarter size amount. And then, you know, just gently rub that into your face and it acts as a natural makeup remover and it's super easy and then after that you just want to take like a warm washcloth or baby wipes whatever you want to use and then it easily glides off without putting a lot of stress on your face or around your eyes especially when you're wearing mascara it's really good for around the eyes so I definitely recommend taking off your makeup with oil super cheap super easy to do sorry for the hand stuff Alright guys, so that wraps up my beauty hacks video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know which hack was your favorite down below or if you use any of them. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you guys. If you're looking for a winner, for love, looking for a dance, looking for supreme, looking for a queen, What's up guys? So today is Wednesday and I'm headed out right now. I'm actually going to Nix's like Halloween party. Honestly, on the flyer it did not say dress up thing and if it was a dress up thing I would not dress up because I'm not celebrate Halloween. 